be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Hi friends, welcome to Motivated Mama. My name is Krista and on my channel you will find all kinds of cleaning motivation, organizing, and home decorating videos. If that is something you need, don't forget to subscribe. As for today's video, I'm currently trying to get my whole house cleaned before we leave on a mini vacation. So let's see how much I can get done before we leave. If I want Let yourself be free Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever Okay, so like I said in the intro We are going on a little vacation not too far away from home To celebrate my mom's birthday we normally don't do this, but after losing my dad in January, we are making it our family mission to enjoy the time we have together more often. So we're taking a little trip to Pigeon Forge and I'll be sharing more of that on my Instagram, which you can find on my channel's banner in case you're, in case you're interested. Anyway, I don't know if you're like me, but I hate leaving my house a mess, even if it's just an overnight trip. So today I'm going to try to make it into each room and clean it before we leave. I also had some help today as you will see. got all my countertops cleaned off it's time to do the dishes
Okay, now that I've cleaned the dishes and got all the ones that don't go through the dishwasher off the counter, now it's time to wipe down the counters. And what I'm using today is the Mrs. Meyers Everyday Cleaner in the Acorn Spice Scent. Okay, now it's time to tidy up my living room. It's not that dirty, it just needs to be picked up. And I've got my little helper again. I had her washing dishes and you'll see that she loves, when there's pillows on the floor, she loves to just fall on them. But she got a little antsy and a little tired as I was cleaning the living room, so I had to pick her up towards the end. Okay, I know I've been needing a new vacuum for a while now, but after making this shot and realizing that this vacuum just doesn't pick up like it used to, I have since then bought a new one that I can't wait to show you all in the next couple of videos. Um, and it's so ironic that it says it never loses suction or power or anything right there on the front. And that's just not true. Okay, so this is one of my most dreaded tasks, which is making my kids bunk beds. Um, I knew what I was doing when I bought the bunk beds. I knew in my mind this was going to be difficult. I just really do dread making them. Maybe one day I'll, sorry, that's Ridley. <laughs> Maybe one day I will bite the bullet and purchase 
the Betty's beddings or something similar to that just to make my life a little bit easier. But we've only lived in this house for like six weeks or six months now. And so it just doesn't make sense to buy all new bedding when this is pretty new itself. This is some my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock. I like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. You could be the one I trust. All the second chances there are nothing for us. Okay, so if I want the kids' rooms to look really nice, I'm the one who makes the bed. Um, but they do make their own beds. It's just not to my level, I guess you could say. Um, but they will make them. And they do like to help me clean their rooms. They like the help. But then sometimes, and you'll see here in a little bit, Blake is getting to the point where he wants to do it on his own. And like everything. So he asked me to just help him film like just him cleaning off his dresser and I was so proud of him because he's normally not my cleanest child and I, I don't know I guess he's getting to this mature age he's in third grade and I think there's a huge difference between second and third at least as I saw as a teacher and he's getting to the stage where he just wants to do it by himself so I let him have the reins and he did really well So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt So you just saw he organized his desk and I'm so proud of him but now he is organizing like 
like cleaning off his dresser because as you can see there's just so much stuff on it and I didn't coach him at all he's putting on his necklaces that he finds um but anyways he I didn't coach him at all and I did have to help him with like one of the cords that was stuck under his bed but that was it he did all of this by himself Okay, and now we're in Sophie and Ridley's room, which is mostly just Sophie's room. And thankfully, she doesn't sleep in these beds yet. And I hate to say that because she is five and she'll be sleeping there one day. But I really do hate making these beds. It's a pain. So it's not hard to make hers at all. I just have to pretty much straighten them up where she has laid on the bed or, you know, whatever, played on them. Um, so that's all I'm doing right now. And then she's starting to pick up all the toys that were on her floor. When I'm reasoning about us I know you got me It's so effortless Back to back we would carry on it We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound Okay, last thing I needed to do in her room was get all of her clothes and Ridley's clothes hung up or put away. And I'm gonna do that before I pack. I don't know why I like to do that before I pack because it seems like it's extra work, but it's like I can see what's in their closet and just know everything's up there and put away so that when I get back, it's just less to do. Okay, thankfully my room was very clean. I just wanted to wash the bedding and put it back on there and make it uh, really nice before we left. And that was all I really had to do in my room. And we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we 
Okay, so if you notice in the right hand bottom part of the bed, it is still a little wet, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to go ahead and finish making the bed to make it appealing. Um, but if you watched my other video where I redid my bedroom or mostly got new bedding, um, I just wanted to give an update of that. I love this bedding. I got most of it on Amazon and it's turning out great, but in particular, the bed skirt is holding up wonderfully. I haven't had to move it, like tuck it back in, hardly any. It's not one of those that goes underneath the mattress. It just kind of tucks right in there on top of the box spring. And I think the kids have stepped on it maybe once and pulled it out, but it didn't rip like the other ones would have and all I did was just tuck it back in to where it looks level and I'm really happy with it. Forever, forever, forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. So that was it for this cleaning video today. I hope it gave you all the motivation that you needed. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos because I plan on making so many more. Thank you all so much. Forever I watch you as you drive